to you guys. I am um, here. I am giving a talk. Okay. I. Hmm. <laughs> uh, Congratulations on a piece in the show. Yeah. Thank you. Both shows. Yes. Both shows. <laughs> Um, I am not a person that's like standing in front of an audience and I, I, I love painting color for itself. That's why I brought all these color pieces. Um, I have, um, I, I don't know if, how come? This is the most difficult thing I've ever done. I don't really think I can do this. Um, we love you. Yeah. Here, <laughs> Jesse, don't worry. Yes. Is that something similar to what you saw at Art Heist? That was amazing. I had some wine. Where's my wine? Okay. <laughs> okay. And your crayons, Josie. You brought us crayons. Oh, yeah, that was it. That, yes, there was about five of you, and it was, yes. I think it's a sound, I think I'm really like, I'm a barometer, uh, and I think I hear the sound of this, this machine, and, and I, I love being outside. I grew up on Hornby Island, and I had the sandstone and the sea and the driftwood, and the, I had hours by myself. Okay. And um, I've had a lot of freedom probably in my life, and I've had, I would wander through fields and I've lived on the west coast and I didn't bring you my picture. I had a painting of my, um, yeah, I would walk miles up there. What do I do? I walk miles to do things like paint buildings like this, which is the Haida Gwaii. Um, it, it was on the other side of uh, Cape Ball. Um, that painting, um, I, I Paint, they're all, oh, I love this size for painting. I paint 30 by 36. I have a, um, I take this and I walk through the landscape. I have my pack, my backpack on my back with all my paints in it. And I drop everything on the ground and I find something to prop it up on. And then I look at what I'm looking at over there and you see whatever it is and I it may be cold and windy and you have your clothes on and you're covered in paint and you're messy you wipe things there might be wild cattle in the hide <laughs> quiet I don't know um, I paint and I, as long as I could bear it and then I go home and I usually I'm exhausted and go have a sleep and then I wake up and do something else like eat food or something I don't know um, how do I I not I've been going around town, you probably see me in my overalls. I get really messy. It's not easy being an oil painter. And it's horrible doing its brushes. I, uh, it, washing all those brushes and they're all in those jars in the back shed and I don't know. Um, I am, um, I went to France in March of 2017 or 18. It must have been 18? Who said 18? Okay. <laughs> I, I saw Pierre Soulage. Pierre Soulage um, had this big museum in Rodez, France, and I got to see this, went in this building that was all, I think I love architecture. Very simple, modern architecture. It was a big building with um, rust and um, very simple. Most people think it's ugly, but I thought it was just right. And inside, there were big paintings of paint um, with big brushes and they pulled them across the screen and then between them you could see the light coming through. So this is a takeoff on one of Pierre Solage's, what are they called, serographs or something? So this is me, I, all I did was I put this paint on the, the ground and then I pulled the paint through it. And um, I really love this painting, it's terribly simple but there it is. That's. I'm very, I was going to put it in, but I thought it would be too simple to put in because it's simple, it might not make it. But then when I painted the painting at Snap, I, I had an idea and I got to use that big studio in there, which is the man hall. And the man hall, um, I just ignored everybody. I put my earphones on and I told no one to talk to me. Though Joan talked to me, I remember you talking to me. <laughs> okay. 
and then I, I, I got to use the excuse to put all the colors down and, and I had the blue as the blue sky. So I love blue. If you see, where's my painting? They're hiding it behind here. This painting is of the Elkington house and this painting I have to bring you in real life because I, I painted this last April um, in Cowichan. It, it, the sky may be too blue for you and everything, but I, um, I had to have the sky that blue. And I had to paint the paint this thick, and I had to, I, I had painted the house and then I had to bring the color back, the light back, so I went back again on it to bring it in. So I think I'm a little bit mad, because I, I, it's hard doing this and then you feel like you're crazy. Um, Hmm. But I get excited when it actually happens because so it's yeah. quite yummy paint. That's what I'm in love with paint. And I like this yellow green thing there. And what else? I love the soft yellow there. See, I'm just simply love color beside color. And yes, I. That's that's why I painted that. Uh, I. I know why. There's this paint. I I saw this painter. Um, this painter here, he's a French painter, and he's very messy, but I love some of his work. See, this is, I showed these to the people that, the other day, there's, it's just a simple painting of paint and color, light, mm, and there's some more painting. So, I relate to this blue sky and this, yes, yeah, so, uh, but I, I think I'm getting more careless as I get older. See, I used to paint the blue sky more carefully. So, um, and then I used to paint the out in the wilderness, uh, the west is off Vargas Island, um, and this is off Vargas. These are all 1990. So when I, I'm going all over the place. I know. I'm just trying to explain myself. Uh, to, Uh, do you wonder why these, these colors come from when I'm painting a larger painting and I like the color and I have some leftover I just go oh I'm gonna put it on the so so I get all these huge collections of and this is this is a really yummy I mean that's the last attempt at because it was cerulean blue I was using up but it was really I, I don't know where I'm going I'm can you hold those up? We can't see them. Uh, you can have them. I'll just bring them. <laughs> 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 I have a struggle with myself because oil paint is very expensive and the colors I like are very expensive. So what I do is I hear my father, I went to the Banff School of Art and I was very like shy, 17. My father said to me, don't really shy and careful making, you know, and having to look at a male model for the first time and I'm like, oh dear, where do I look? <laughs> and, and so, so then, um, uh, my father and mother were gone, Hornby's gone, I grew up on Hornby and um, um, I think with the paint I now go, okay, I pay for this and I use it and then I need more, it'll come and I'll yeah. put more and I go through and sometimes they sell those paintings and then you go, yay, and then I go get more. <laughs> uh, when it was 1982 I had a show for the first time of my work on Hornby and I was like scared of everybody's taking my paintings away and part of me and they were there and then suddenly um, when they had bought them and then they weren't my paintings anymore because the people look at the paintings and they become their painting because they all see paintings differently and so I don't expect you to relate to that painting but somebody else might but it doesn't mean that that painting is right or wrong it just may not do anything for you but it might do something for somebody else anyways the point is to you just do it, throw it out there, carry through, move on. It's like life, and life is really scary sometimes. Sometimes you have no money, and you have 
wondering how you're going to manage to get through the next part and then something happens and you just keep on stepping on that another skipping stone a st stepping stone what do you call them you skip along and then <laughs> manage i don't know um. <laughs> so even these like these are heavy this is well first of all this is excellent quality Women. Oh, that was from, um, okay, that, that was a friend needed to sell her little stretcher bars. Okay. I was um, at Anna Gusterson's, or where was I? Was at the Celia Duthie's, no, Celia Duthie's gallery, and I had hours of time. I was putting together these little stretchers, and I was hammering them together with little nails. And, and then I was cutting up this linen, it came from a sailcloth of a, uh, um, a boatsman, a man who did sails. And, and then, so it had lovely, lovely cloth. And I, even the process of doing that, it made them, I think of what I'm going to put on them. And, and I have lots of these little canvases waiting in the sidelines. I have lots of stretchers that I need to stretch. It takes hours of time gessoing and priming these things. And then in a minute, I might only in a f not long slam it with paint and then make a painting. So it's like you have to have in waiting, even though a painting might only take three hours, it might take weeks and weeks and months and months to get to that place where you have the materials in front of you, you have an idea, and you go shklunk, shklunk, Slow, and then there you are. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know what to say about creativity. It takes probably years. You could say oh, you did that in three hours, but it might be you'd waited all your life to do it. It's like an orchestra piece. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is I like this painting. This painting here is a big painting, and I haven't shown it in public yet, um, other than its card. Um, I did show it at an arts night one night, um, but it, it is just, I like very simple things, I don't know, um, this comes from a small drawing, uh, and, but I think um, the Guggenheim right now is having its 60th anniversary, it's a very simple building with that spiraling going up and up in the art and it, I got to see it in 1981, I haven't been back ever. but. Um, what I meant is I love painting in space that's big so I thrilled that the parallel show shows my painting with space around it because I like how color color affects the surrounding area and so I think with less is more so I think you can say a lot with less I don't know I think that's I don't know that's something yeah any anybody who would like to ask me anything Yes. Do you, do you have a sketchbook that you sketch in every day? Or do you like no, I'm not an everyday or? person, no. No? I can look and see and I can imagine. Do you sketch each painting before you do it? Like no, no, I go straight into it. I get too impatient. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so you know from what you've seen? And okay. No, no, I'm usually painting on site. So I usually, uh, uh, the last month I've been working at Grace Point and I worked on a painting yesterday. I, I think I maybe seven times have gone to that, those three little, three little um, oak trees and then there's the Grace Islet behind with a simple <laughs> sea and then the islands, but somehow this month has been hard. I just can't get it and I see as though I'm really messy and I keep trying to paint so I keep putting more and more white on and I keep having to be generous with white. And I think I've got it now, but I think you still could say you're not got it. So you, I don't know where to go with that. I keep like. Yeah, I think it's an ongoing process. Like well, sometimes you think, why am I doing this? <laughs> 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 well, what's your drying time? You might, it must take up to a year. No, 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 it doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't mind. No, I actually like it. It's um, when it's still wet and I can paint into it, it it's much more interesting to paint. Oh, for so, sure. you. I never worried about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the the show up here was all square things. Yeah. They were some of them were still wet, but but Gabrielle managed to put a frame on them so that nobody really touches them. Uh -huh. But maybe yeah, there was the painting here up on the wall um, in the snap show took three months to dry. Yeah. It was so heavy. Yes. It was much more heavier than normal. Um, I just <laughs> did you see?
Well, I was going to ask uh, your school in Banff. Uh, you were quite young when you went. So, did you find that the the teachers who were teaching you um, did they have an agenda in terms of uh, the kind of art that they were expecting? It was you to six a week um, junior painting. I won this little scholarship of three hundred fifty dollars for the tuition. My parents said, "Okay." when I won this scholarship. So we went, I went on a train all by myself and the teacher, I think her name was Joy Wheeland or something. I, I, and she told me, to, she looked at, I did a big portrait of myself and I, she told me to look at Kandinsky. I remember her encouraging me all these paintings to go look at. So. And she was, do you know where she was educated? I don't remember, it's a long time ago. Okay, yes. <laughs> and Tacton Abbey was there and Alan, Alan, Big red man, a big faced Alan. He we had a show down at the what? Fault Lines. Alan, Alan, Alan Wood. Yes, he was there, and they, they were looking at them at a distance. I wasn't really. Yeah. Anyways. So. Uh, yeah. Did you like Kandinsky? I did at that time. Yes, and I liked Marc Chagall in the beginning. There is a slide here of Einstein on a green donkey. That was from the, the art school. Yes. I went to Emily Carr. They paint all these it's huge. It's going to take a long time to find. Oh, you'll be very patient. I'm well, sorry okay. I haven't got used to you to my advantage. I'm impressed by the number of slides that you brought. But they're all, they're all mixed up. Uh, so <laughs> since I've been painting since 19... I've been painting since 1979. That's a long time, isn't it? So. And you probably photographed them all and have a large collection. Of photographs, things. Photograph Somewhere. Itself. Yeah, well, I have some. Did you sell them? Did they they sold. Do they disappear? Do you miss yes. them when they go somewhere? No, 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 no. no. And sometimes all you have left is a photograph. You find that out as you get older, I think. I had, I had a book and I wrote down everybody who bought a painting from me from 1982 on. And then I had a fire when my son was small on Hornby and that bur book burnt. So I just let go. I don't know who's got some of my paintings. So They go down the river. Yes. In time. Okay. Yes, time is very short, and energy uh, to paint these paintings is. Uh, I I'm, I have a seventeen and a half year old, and it's not easy being a mother right now, because you don't know where he is. And so yeah, I try to be a painter. Um, I am a painter. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. Um, Do you enter a lot of shows or? I I just skip these stones of shows. I didn't try. Didn't enter a lot of shows, no. no. I've lived on Hornby Island and always had that as my base. And I always showed at the Hornby Island Community Hall. I would sell those paintings, then I would have to start again. So when you, you, you have a body of work and then it goes, and then you have to start again, sometimes you get exhausted. It's like, how long can I go on doing this for? So, um, yeah, you know, I'll go on doing this. Um, what I meant is, I, I probably, when you invited me to go to Vancouver to have a show in the 80s, I would probably be part of some other people, but I, I remember Glenn Altine at the Grunt Gallery invited me for a January show after I had shown some work. But then I stopped because I don't have any more painting because they sold over there. So um, um, Salt Springs has been really good to me this year. I've had the Duthie Gallery carry me and then the Man Hall had me this summer. And now this... So there we are, Michael. Okay. <laughs> well deserved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you argue, I'm older than you. <laughs> Rosie, do you want to hand out some of these? You can, yes. Do you want me to? Oh, I got Not attached to them. Yes. Josie's. Um, painted, oh, that started me doing man, all the houses. Painted man hall for us. Oh, um, I that's my then Celia had the show of the, ho, the Helen Ruckel's house and this house and the man hall and and the steers. I have them all here, but they. Hmm. This house. Let's let's put up the Dot Toynbee house. Well, take a minute. We'll see if we can get something back. So I need a critique on this one. I like this one. What do you think of this? It's just me in love with red. And then I 
But it looks very socialist, doesn't it? <laughs> but it does, it looks it, it, it sort of calls out for Russia or something. Oh well, okay. <laughs> no comment from the audience. <laughs> well, <laughs> what? In, in, in the U.S., the Conservative Party uses red. No, I'm not conservative. Uh, I'm a socialist. The, the Democrats are blue and then. Oh, red. Okay. Well, that's not fair. Red is a lovely color. They can't have it. Yeah. <laughs> so there. <laughs> I find the tones are more orange than red. You're right. There's an orange red. Yeah, yeah. it's not a red. Oh, you mean that makes it more allowed to be um, not right wing? <laughs> okay. It's apropos for this month, the black and the orange. I mean it. Oh, you mean this might be indigenous? Definitely puts you maybe in the Halloween mood. No, I don't agree with that. I love that orange, and I must. I want to paint a big painting of orange. So, there's. Yeah. Hi, Jillian. <laughs> I don't find the painting attractive at all. You don't love this? You don't well, know? No. I, and I'm wondering your training. Did you just train at Banff? Did you go on? I went to the Emily Carr College of Art and I graduated with a diploma. Oh, yes. good. <laughs> I did that on purpose because I went well, not just an art dropout. What years were you in Emily Carr? I graduated in 1983. 83. I went in 1979. I was a young woman. Yeah. Of Yes. Uh -huh. Not experience in the world yet. You <laughs> started <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad you like. I, I mean, I love this painting too. I know that not everybody can love the painting. No, no, you're not supposed to love the paintings. No, I mean, you're not supposed to. No. Yeah. It's not mine. Good. What do you do? I do um, more neon expressionistic. It's similar, but I use hardly ever use black in a painting. I would eat this because fun Because black is usually made from color, so I don't use the black that you buy commercially. I see. And, uh, yeah. And I like uh, subject matters. I like, uh, yeah. I like to know what I'm looking at a little bit. And, like, I love but this is, this is legitimate. This is red and black. This is, this is a paint. Can't you see it? It's quite I legitimate. Love this one. Okay, yeah, that, that one's very boring for me, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, personally. that's all right. Yes, yes, yes fine. Yes. And you, you probably don't like this painting either. Not, what the hell is this about? <laughs> no, I, I understand that art, but I don't like it. I love this art. <laughs> My favorite. Yes. This, this, everybody loves this one. The forest? Yeah, it's a forest. Yeah, yeah, it's a forest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. That's what, yeah, the photography can do that too. Yeah, yes, and, and yeah. You know, I have good memories of being there, right? So it's lovely. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. And this one's very popular, this one. Yeah. The Ruckle Farm, yeah. yeah. Don't yawn. So, <laughs> the difference between, uh, say, a painting from life in an expressionistic, you know, impressionist style versus the. Uh, That's the guts painting. I love doing that. <laughs> I'm not quite clear as to why. Like it's, it's, it's about so my energy. Visceral. It's very visual. A visceral, yes. Visceral because experience. that's about the painting up on the stage. Yeah, yeah. It is about the thrust of life uh, going through the paint. It goes on the paint. It's this yummy blue you put down. That's deep blue sky that I love. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think um, painting is a lot about sex. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And a lot about expression of who you are. It's scary as hell. It's very much the guts. It's not just tentatively painting little dots and making it beautiful. Because sometimes that's not what you're about. Because you might be stressed and you might get this out and that out and this out. And uh, I think there's a lot said for abstract expressionism. Somebody the other day said they didn't like Picasso because he was so lecherous with women. And I think I like to have met him. Not, not, not because of the sexual thing. Because I think... He's real. He put down, and he does love women. Okay, he loves their voluptuousness. I there's a woman and child painting I loved since I was a child, and 
you could, there's a great love of that woman with her baby and it really feels, I think it's, it's more about us expressing our emotions and putting it through on paint. And you can't be afraid of that. That's why I'm painting. Well, I see that in these too. Okay. I can see that what you're saying. And, yeah, and, and I push that there and that yeah, there and there. But there's a subject matter here which makes it more pleasant. It's a dead building, but it has <laughs> life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, can I put a woman there? Yeah, when I look at those things, especially the orange and black one, I see a lot of anger. Oh, I don't. Not angry. This one I love. It's yum. I put this lovely yum orange yet. Well, I you want it for tea. You want it? I know. I do. I know. I do. No, but I don't. Angry. Maybe I am angry. Maybe I am frustrated. Right way up for you on that one. Um, it wasn't. It was pink on the ground. So I was so walking around and dancing. No, there's no right or wrong to this. It could okay. be. Well, should we try it this way? Um, yeah, but this. Could, oops. Uh, this way. You weren't thinking of the psychology that you spent in years in school learning about when you. Oh, fuck school. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. No. Structures in society. No, no, no. School is a structure. Children are brilliant at four and five. I just read a lovely article about it, and they are fucked up. But you have to go straight rows here. That's why I was trying to make it not straight rows here. Um, you could sit on the bench. You could smoke a reefer out there if you like. Um, come on. Well, if that's <laughs> don't you think the world wouldn't be so fucked up here? In no, we should be more free. We should be anarchists. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Okay. No, no, I love bullshit anyways, it nourishes the ground. We can grow things with bullshit. Yes. I'm enjoying this. What? I'm enjoying this. Oh good, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I, I'm a very, um, I grew up on Hornby. We grew plants and trees and we ran into the sea without our clothes on. As a county culture people there and it's real, we cook real food, we grow real food and they um, I was looking last night for uh, all about the um, what um, that hurricane had done. It, Darien. What it, Darien. There's nothing about it. It's all Fox News, and they're covering everything up. So, I think we've been brainwashed terribly. So, I can't relate to technology. I relate to real people and real things. And life is very short, and it's full of all you lovely people. And. Um, Look at the sun out there, it's an amazing world. I went painting at Grace Point and there's a little flicker going along looking for insects along the rocks. There's cigarette butts because the people that are homeless don't think they need to pick up the butts, but they, I know they're homeless and they're having parties there. But then the other people that are homeless come and pick up the bottles that they left behind because they get money for them. Oh, I don't know. That's, um, Josie, you said that this, did this start your house series? Yes, it did, yes. And you, have, you done a house, have you done houses before? I, I can see I do houses before, but I can't... Um, yeah, I've painted houses before. I've always liked older houses. Yeah, yeah. this started your house yes. frame house series. Yes, yes. Okay. Well. Josie, I love your greens too. You've discussed your moves. I love your greens. Do you mix them or do you use anything straight out of the tube? I usually use it. There's all the cadmiums. I have very expensive colors like cadmium. There is cadmium permanent green, which is delicious. Um, but I always try to mix the greens as much as I can from all the other colors too. Yeah. yeah. So, and I bring in quincadrona, bring in different ones. But I'm not really having any examples of greens. What's this one doing up here? Did you find yeah, that? Uh, <laughs> I picked that one amongst the, the collection because it had the word snap in the title. Oh, I see. Was that this year's snap? Did no, no, know? this is on the, the parallel show right now. That's, that's on the parallel that, show? That's what I, yeah, this, this works. Do you want to say anything about that one? Anything about it? Oh, it's about lovely orange red again. It's, I'm not angry. <laughs> but it's, that painting was about a red sweater I really loved um, and a grey Grey plate that Gai Lan Yan, she's a potter, she made a beautiful glaze on this pottery that's a bit like this color. So, so the colors in my life, I see them and then I go, oh, you, I like you beside the, you. And, um, and then this painting was a, painted originally um, with a big black tree like form going out like this and it didn't work. Yeah, I can uh, try something. 
And then I had this painting in my studio all framed. It was a black frame on it. And I was like, mm, I don't like this painting. And um, I started to, first I, in my, I start put another painting on top of here as sort of like a woman figure in a, in a, in a shadowy sort of river scene. And, and I was trying to figure out something like, and then I decided no. And then I brought in all this orange red because I knew I still loved the orange red. It was this gray sweater. So the gray was already in the background. And then I brought this blue because I, I'm, I'm working with this blue at the same time. So I know about this blue. That's a different blue. That blue and this blue are probably more related. That is the wrong coloring for the screen. The screen does that. It doesn't show you the real colors. So everything to me is, is about um, the quality of the color, so I, I, yeah, that's what I did. So if you go to the parallel show, you probably find it more that blue. But when it's with the red, it does this and it pulsates. It's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Oh, this is somebody. Okay. Me. Okay. Yeah. What? Where did you? come from to go to Hornby because you sound very British. Is that hey, do I sound very British? I never be my mother was born in India in Darjeeling, India. Her father was a colonel of the Indian Army okay. and she left for Wales. So she's Welsh, about bringing in probably yeah. that. I was very shy so I picked up her voice. I'm very Canadian. Okay. Your sensibilities are Extremely British. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm an anachronism. <laughs> well, I remember reading in the book your mother was a wren. Yes. Okay, so that. All right. My father was from Lancashire, from the working class. Okay. And they met in Nanaimo, BC. And my mother was 36 and my father was 26. And she trusted this young man and they liked cl climbing mountains. But they, he took her up to Hornby Island. He was building a house up there. And I think I came along a little lighter. So. Okay. Yeah, so. Do <laughs> I'm talking colour here because I know that's what you like to do. But with me, it's always because I've got a tumultuous personality that is very much these colours. These are what I like because they bring me calm and peace. The Which one? The sky, the green. This one here. Mm, mm. So I buy clothes that are like that. Okay. Instead of every now and then I put on my reds and then you know it's trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Session of colour that's empathetic to the Okay, yeah. That's all. Okay, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what I think it must be very simple because that's all I know that I, I stop in my tracks when I see certain colours against each other and go, oh, look at that. So I'm obsessed by, or something's in my, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just like, ooh, what's, mm, yeah, I live for it. Okay. Is that finished? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I was just going to say, I think that having uh, energy in this uh, audience, uh, it's a kind of multifaceted energy. Um, it, it is exactly the uh, sort of the honest and I say courageous response that some of the people maybe in the front have had. Because I think the purpose of those of us who are artists is to. Um, is to, the intention is to actually say something to humanity. And um, a lot of us do it in a lot of different ways, but color is a very, very strong um, medium. Um, and those of us who have syn synesthesia can also, you know, that relates to music. Um, the vibration of the blue and the orange are, are you know, it's energy. It's if you stand. So I'm just suggesting that those of you who go to the parallel show stand back far enough so you can <coughs> see 
the blue vibrating in Josie's painting, um, and just you know facilitate in yourself some sort of a response. Just be aware, of, you know, what kind of a response you have. Whether you like it or whether you don't like it, it doesn't matter when it comes to viewing art. Every reaction to whatever you see and whatever you feel is the whole reason why those of us who are artists are doing that work. Because without art, um, humanity would be um, bereft. Music and art. So um, thank you, Josie. <laughs> thank you for coming. school. <laughs> what? Those are always what get cut at school. Music and art. Yeah. First things to go. That's very sad. Because mm -hmm. yeah, I am not able to. I as a, I I'm maybe taught taught is not practical with money or something or not careful or frugal or enough. Or I know how to cook. I can make cool something. But what I, what I meant is how to be clever and earn money. Um, that that is another kind of person. I think if I'm lucky, I'm uh, yay! I got some money. But, um, so 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 it's just a different way of. The kind of people that run the planet right now don't have any clue of mm. the music and the art. They, they, they shut that off themselves or something. Or they might think they know it. But I think it, a lot of people don't um, realize that a lot of us artists are not... Um, we much rather be allowed to just go off and play all day long and not worry about how to earn money. Mm. <laughs> See? As simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> Josie, I want to say something to you, because being the mother of an artist too, I have no problems there. But I think it's a great gift to have what you have. And I, I'm sorry for artists in many, many ways, because they are blessed with the gift and they're cursed with it because they can't not do it. Yes, no. And you're quite right. It's not as though you have pounds falling on your head <laughs> every day. No one, you know, people have got to buy something from you and you can't stop doing art. But they do sometimes and it's lovely. It's so, no, do, yeah. Of course you do. But sometimes you're going, oh my God, I, yes, how am I going to get through it? <laughs> I'm going to wash dishes now. Okay, I'll go wash dishes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do what you do. Thank you. sometimes and all sees very much up here in the head and I can say that you know there are very few paintings I've seen that I actually felt mm -hmm. but I love your talk because I feel like it wasn't up here it took me into my body and I could feel it so thank you <laughs> showing all the yes thank there's, you there's Thank another you. one of a different type but that was earlier this year that one's in the uh, one of, pod, pod. Yeah. Um, another, where is it well i'll put it up if you want if you don't I won't. you can put it up yeah. another 10 minutes and it's, it's but they look they might want to be having lunch or something and it, yeah. it, it, it's, a, it's a different type of picture <laughs> Yeah, this is the kind of painting that everybody likes better. The we got a commercial for a moment. It's just not very bright. I don't know what's going on. It's coming up slowly, but it's not very bright. It's a painting of um, the sea made it off Sunny Point. This one is showing at the Pod Contemporary Gallery, and it's it a little painting about this it size. Was this spring. Yes. It was in the spring. Yes. You saw it somewhere. It's very thick paint too. Yeah. yeah. 
it, it's just a different sort of painting to go out on. There's less tension there. It's a little bit calmer. Am I am I in my paintings tense? I didn't. <laughs> that's, a that's just a postscript. <laughs> postscript. Okay. <laughs> we'll just finish. But the sea is not very calm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. you. You can go home now. <laughs> well,